Hey, it's JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In the past couple of days, I've released several videos of the Ninjago City docks placed with the Ninjago City as well as Destiny's Bounty. In the third video, I said that would be my final video, but I lied. I had so much fun with the Ninjago City docks that I wanted to see if it would fit another set, in this case, the old fishing store. After all, both are waterside buildings, and while the architecture style is different, they both have a similar colour palette and colour tone, so I think it works when they're placed together in the same display. I experimented with several concept layouts so you don't have to. And these are the results I got. The two sets cannot be placed directly next to each other side by side, especially in this orientation, because the overhanging roof of the old fishing store will hit the buildings of the Ninjago City docks. In addition, it looks really strange for them to be this close together. It also doesn't work on the other side. In order to place these two sets together well, you need to do some modifications. What I did for my old fishing store was to replace the tan base plate with a blue base plate so it looks like the old fishing store is actually built on water. Any part which is tan on the original model is blue in my set. However, I did plate this part over here near the door so there's a walkway to get to the store. And for a point of interest, if you look inside the store, the water also runs underneath the store. In a way, it's a bit like the Ninjago City docks. Besides changing the base plate of the old fishing stall, you also need a buffer plate. And this is a buffer plate of water. It can be a 32 by 32 stud plate. In this case, I use a 16 by 32 stud base plate. It is a blue base plate for water, and I built a jetty or walkway that will fit different orientations as you'll see in a while. If you are to place these sets together, you will need to cover the base plate with black plates and blue translucent tiles as per the original Ninjago sets. I'm just doing two strips over here for illustration purposes only. With this done, I'm going to show you four different layouts you can do with the Ninjago City docks and the old fishing village. This is layout number one. In this layout, the fishing store is on the left of the Ninjago docks with the base plate in between. As you can see, with a bit of space in between the two sets, it now seems more palatable and they fit better together. The jetty forms a connection point between the fishing store and the back sidewalk of the city docks. This creates a sense of continuity between the two sets and if the two blue base plates are tiled in the same way as the city docks, the sense of seamlessness and continuity will be even stronger. Here's a look at another layout. In this case, the fishing store is on the right side of the docks with the base plate in between. And in this orientation, the front of the fishing store faces the side of the Ninjago City docks. I have not changed the position of the jetty on my buffer base plate, but it works just as well. Except in this case, the fishing store is not directly connected with the Ninjago City docks. They are merely connected by the seamless flow of water. Here's a look at the back view of this layout. In this third layout, it may seem very similar to the previous layout, but basically the old fishing store has been rotated so the front is facing the camera. The differences are very subtle and may be only appreciated when you place it into your LEGO city, but I thought I'll show you how it looks like for the sake of completeness. The nice thing about this is that there's a little water backyard for small boats or maybe some cleaning. The final layout may seem similar to the preceding ones, but I think there's a big difference mainly because the entire old fishing store is rotated to face away from the Ninjago docks, so it seems even more isolated because the back of the fishing store faces the side of the city docks. This works well if your water layout in your LEGO city has kind of a curve so that you can have the water running the length of your Ninjago city docks and around the front of your fishing store. The jetty on the buffer base plate now acts as a connection from the Ninjago city docks to the back of the fishing store there's still a sense of flow and connection between the two sets. If you have the Ninjago City, you can add it to the city docks and you now have an impressive 4 base plate wide display. Add in Destiny's bounty in front and you've got quite a complete jetty scene. I hope you enjoyed this conceptual look at placing the old fishing store with the Ninjago City docks. I always think it's fun trying to place different sets together and use creativity to make it seamless and fit into a LEGO city. So what do you think? Do you think it's possible to take the old fishing store and place it with the Ninjago City docks for a credible display? Or do you think they're just too different and shouldn't be placed together? Let me know in the comments.
If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. If you haven't, please check out my other Ninjago City Docs video. You can click on the videos here or find the links in the description. Talk to you soon!